Welcome back to another video here. I got a bunch of test kits all over the place trying to make some organization. As you progress in the hobby or just getting started, you're going to have a whole bunch of test kits, different kind of brands maybe, boxes all over the place. As you can see, I have three different kinds. I have my uh, coral dip right there, my little needles, my syringes, and basically what it's time to do is to get some organization. So what I went to do, I went to go to the store, I picked up a little miniature fish and tackle box and I put all my API stuff in there, I put my Red Sea there, my coral dip and also the uh, syringes that go with it. I also went back to Saltwater Heaven, I wanted to check out their new frag tank, I think this is about a 12 foot tank and the cool thing is that it's all divided into sections. Um, if you guys have an Instagram, you guys can look me up. 915 MANG Mang, and uh, you guys probably already seen this picture. I know there's a couple of other YouTubers out there, but uh, I'm on there, so if you want to, you know, maybe see what I'm up to, go ahead and uh, look me up and I'll follow you back. I wanted to show you guys um, some starfish that hitchhiked on the coral that I got. Um, I got about four different frags and about two of these pest starfish. And these little starfish, I hate them because they'll eat your polyps and they multiply pretty fast if they're left uncontrolled. Um, not only that, but they eat your polyps. And as you guys know, I love zoas and pallies. And this is why I'm always showing you guys uh, Coral RX. Um, there's other types of dips that you can use. I've seen the uh, bear dip, but um, I was watching American Reef channel and, you know, they've they pretty much said that for a couple of extra dollars, you know, you can get something that's made for your tank, not for some pesticides outside around your house. Um, these those right here, uh, if somebody can let me know the names of those, I have been after those for a while, the ones with the uh, green skirts and the blue centers. also picked out these uh, red ones, red skirts with the blue in them. They look pretty sweet. And uh, also picked up, Two clowns for my 34 gallon Salona due to the fact that my fish are surviving. Um, I had got a total of three chromis, I have two now, and I also got a Bangai Cardinal, which is also doing well in my tank. One of the problems that I continue to face is that I had some cloudy water. Um, so I ended up going to the freshwater side, went to PetSmart, got a Tetra Whisper 40i. Uh, basically I got it internal because uh, the one that I had was a hang on the back this one just like hangs on the inside pumps water from inside my sump and through a little filter um, so I'm gonna give this thing a shot and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I actually have it plugged in you can see the water is a little bit cloudy another thing that I ended up having to do was hard plumb my uh, return pump into in my sump uh, due to the fact that the little holes that I had uh, ended up falling off in the, in the morning. So now I have dual drains. I zip tied them together. And inside, I'm now using a uh, filter sock. My uh, return pump is on the union. And then there's a the little uh, filter, internal filter. So hopefully it does well and it clears up my water. So it has been about a week now. The water is a lot clearer. Um, I have my lights turned on, uh, mainly the uh, white LEDs because the uh, blues just make the camera go crazy. But it has cleared up a lot. Um, as you can see, my fish are doing well. Both clowns, both chromis, the Bangai Cardinals doing also pretty good. Um, so they're doing great, and I'm happy. Uh, if you didn't catch it before, I couldn't keep anything alive in there. So what I was doing was doing five gallons at a time for my 120 display tank and then I would pour the old water into the uh, 34 gallon. Uh, I did that for a couple weeks and uh, you know what it worked so pretty glad now so now I can finally get this tank rolling. Just want to show you one more thing with the 34 gallon. Uh, those are the little filter pads that I was using. I was stuffing that inside of the outlet of the remora skimmer. It did do a good job but of course the uh, little in some filter is doing better. From the past video, I zip tied some uh, GSP. This is part of the frag that I got from um, Pedro Navarro that I fragged. And uh, 
I super glued it on there and it's doing pretty good. I also got a powder blue tang for my 120. Um, most definitely don't recommend just pouring, putting the fish in the tank. It is temperature acclimating right now, but uh, if you have a quarantine tank, I highly recommend one uh, just so you don't take a chance. I'm always nervous when I put new fish in the system. One thing I do want to say, do not mix that bag of water from the LFS into your system. Dump it in that through the net and then put the fish in your tank. Um, I picked up some uh, Kent Marine garlic. Uh, this stuff works good, garlic extreme. You need about two or three drops. I'm going to soak this uh, piece of seaweed on the garlic onto the seaweed. And then I learned this trick from Solo Reef. He just said get a rubber band, rubber band it onto the uh, PVC pipe. And then put it in your thing, in your tank, and you should be good to go. I'm I'm using garlic because I have tanks, and uh, garlic helps, you know, boost the immune system of your fish. So although I don't have a quarantine tank, I'm using garlic to kind of help, uh, you know, be proactive in the whole setup. As soon as I put the seaweed in the tank, the yellow tank went and started tearing it up. I really, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the seaweed in the tank every single day. Hopefully I'll train my tank to eat uh, brine shrimp, mysis, pellets, whatever I put in there. Uh, these two, my hippo tank and my yellow tank, do really well with whatever I put in there. Um, I've had this guy for less than a week, probably about five days now, and hopefully it does good. I'm going to continue to monitor him and uh, just keep putting garlic on everything to keep my immune system for all my fish high. Uh, but anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Help me grow my channel. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, and you guys take care.